out. Hey what's up guys, it's me Nareen Ramesh. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the highly revolutionary and exquisite chemistry cube. When I took this puzzle out of the box, the sheer vibrance of the shades slapped me in the face. With further inspection, I realized that the stickers all have elements from the number line. No, wait, wait. The reactivity series? No, no, no. Wait. The, the periodic table of, of, of periodicity. Yes. That has to be it. That has to be it. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. After being blinded by the incredible sticker shades, I proceeded to turn the actual puzzle. The turning was extremely smooth and buttery. In fact, the puzzle was so smooth that when I attempted to turn my Volkali Tem, I was unable to turn it due to the sheer difference in friction. The corner cutting on this puzzle is my only gripe with the cube. No matter how much you tighten the puzzle, it still corner cuts with such little force that it does turns that you don't want to do, which causes it to be slightly uncontrollable. However, with practice, it becomes easier to control and becomes a true pleasure to turn which is something I cannot say for the plethora of 3x3s in the market that do not have chemistry shades... chemistry shades... what? Next, let's talk about the chemical part of it. On each sticker, you have a chemical symbol along with its full name and two random numbers that I have no clue what they stand for. Uh, please, someone help me. Uh, uh, I, I'm studying for chem- Yeah, but how does that make it chemical? You might be asking, and my answer to that is that I have no idea whatsoever. Also the green center is white. Why is the green center white? So that's it for my review of this truly chemical puzzle. I don't think I'll be using another puzzle for the next few millennia. Subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for watching. Bye.